we're talking to Crystal Swing. We have Dervla, Mary, and Derek. You're all very welcome to Thanks Urban's Time. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. I'm delighted to hear it. So, how did it all start, Mary? You started yourself on the road many years ago. Uh, yeah, going back many years, I suppose. I've been on stage since I was a very, very little girl and uh, grew up always with a great love of music. Um, eventually set up my own one-woman band called Crystal Swing. And I was gigging away uh, doing, you know, a social dancing scene and uh, local weddings and parties. And Derek and Dervla grew up listening to the music that I loved developed a love for it and before I knew it they were singing all the songs I was singing and uh, when they were younger I used to take them out sometimes with me you know if I didn't wasn't able to get a babysitter yeah. and um, they were they were always wanting to go up on the stage to sing and maybe I was a little bit apprehensive at the beginning thinking you know they're only kids and you know how would they take to it but when they went up there people loved them and uh, the, the venue holders used to come back and they'd say to me look bring them back again next week because we had a great reaction to them no you must bear in mind man they were very very young kids okay. at this stage so um, eventually you know the, it, the, the audience kept asking to bring them back and before we knew it you know it just was a natural transition the band expanded it, yes it expanded yes. and how did you come up with the name Crystal Swing um, I really thought it up myself my mother and myself sat down around the table one day and uh, we're trying to think of a name for the band I didn't want something that was kind of I, want, I wanted something that you know portrayed the band as being I suppose fun and lively and also the fact I was a woman as well I suppose Crystal kind of was you know had that shining light appeal about it and then I thought let's make you know the swing part you know as it, in dancing as in dancing yeah. that's right and I suppose it portrayed that I was kind of doing all types of music and uh that's literally how it happened. But I suppose I also liked mm. Crystal Gale, the country singer. All right, And yes. that probably was an inspiration as well. Yes. I'm moving on to Dervla now. Dervla, you joined the band, what, about four years ago now, was it? Um, it's, I'd say it's actually a bit more, I suppose, since the whole thing broke for us, since yeah. we kind of hit the big time, you could say. Yeah. It's uh, over three and a half years ago. And, but we had, been do, we had been in the band a couple of years previous as well. But... Um, the last few years have just been a whirlwind and we have we have I'd say travelled every road in Ireland at this stage and we're having an, an amazing time and we're looking forward to the gig now tonight as well. And I remember when you left school you put up a blog on Facebook and you were very sad about leaving school. How do you feel about it now? Would you like to go back there? No. <laughs> Time's <laughs> changed. Time has changed. I'm glad I'm finished now. But to be honest, um when I was in school at the time before all this happened, I was quite I suppose studious really. I did do my homework and I did do my study, but then the whole crystal swing thing happened and I knew that you know I just had to go with it and take the opportunities and now I'm so glad I did and I got my leaving search done and everything so that's always there for the future if I need it but for the foreseeable future I hope I don't see school again <laughs> I don't think you'll need it and okay. no. uh, you were on the Ellen DeGeneres show what, what, how did that come about Mary um, you know when we put our video up on YouTube he drinks tequila uh, we became an internet sensation almost overnight we weren't even aware we were a phenomenon on YouTube and it was really the media broke the news to us so um, you know the, the, the video went viral and really Eddie, uh, uh, Ellen the generous picked up on the video and uh, she put it up on her website um, so we she, she had played us a few times on her show before ever she in, you know invited us to come out we knew that she was tweeting us and that but then uh, you know the word just came and uh, we got an email from the producers to know would we like to come on the show and of course we jumped to the opportunity it was like a, a million to one chance for any you know any band or any entertainer to get on that show so it was a dream come true absolutely yeah. fabulous worldwide yeah. appeal straight away and i would speak to derek derek elvis the pelvis you're known as <laughs> i believe you're into the vintage scene tractors and that sort of thing that's right you know I'm, i've been in i've always been into agriculture and machinery and all that so uh I suppose two years two years ago I bought my first tractor. It was a Ford Four Thousand, 
and uh, it's 40 it's yeah it's 40 years old and I have another one then that's 59 years old uh, which is a, a Ferguson 20 it's a really old one again it's really one of the first tractors that was probably very popular in you know on a farm uh, back in the back in the early 50s you know so uh, I, I always loved the machine I always loved it I grew up in uh, my grand uncle and my uncle's farm and that and I'd be over and back there as well so just you know I have a great love for uh, for all that and I suppose even um, you know when you come to gigs as well and that uh, a lot of you know you're, a lot of your audience would be a lot of you know people that would be from the farming community and that and when they hear you have uh, vintage tractors automatically then they feel they have a connection with you and you start off talking about about tractors of a night, you know. Well, you're in a very good part of the country for because the vintage thing is very big up this way uh, along the border. Yes. Um, and you've recently taken up darts as well, I believe. That's right. I, I play a bit of darts as well, although I couldn't. Uh, they've uh, they've started a new the new season now this year, but uh, this in the last couple of weeks. But I, I can't uh, join up because we're on uh, we're on tour up around all over the the north of Ireland and of course gigging down our own way as well. So I just haven't got time to to play at the moment. But I was playing all last last season so with the darts taking over there's no chance you'd become a next tractor fan uh, no I, I, <laughs> I'd say I'll get that one in exactly you, you, got, you got it exactly um, no I think I'll uh, stick to the music now yeah yeah. Elvis the Pelp as you're known as now as well <laughs> that's right well after tonight I know I am <laughs> absolutely here in Irvingstown so uh, tell us Mary your uh, latest single Happy Days uh, where was that shot um, that was shot in our local community uh, college below in Middleton where Derek went to school and it was also shot in Eddie Rockets in Blackpool in County Cork and we've had an amazing reaction to Happy Days it's relaunched us back into the media spotlight again um, you know it's gone viral on YouTube it's uh, over the quarter of a million mark now I believe yeah it's, it's gone way way over up 300, yeah, uh, way yeah. over 300,000 mm. and rising you know so um, we're, we're, we're just thrilled with the reaction and uh, you know it's put us back onto TV shows and with the papers on to us and uh, absolutely blown away with it and it's given us a kind of a new you know regeneration again uh, I think it's a great song it's very well produced um, and it, it's very well shot as well it was actually shot by Michael Bracken down there in Mullingar and produced by uh, Peter Maher in Nina so we're very very happy with the total production and I, I think uh, it's probably maybe our best production to date you know so yeah it's a very very lively song yeah. and, and very well done in mm. the video as well excellent mm. excellent work in the video in your school Derek it was shot yeah yeah that's right it was shot in, and I, I spent many of the, <laughs> the days inside in that very classroom learning maths that's what, that was my maths room mm. and so, uh, so now you were back and the teachers were listening to you that's right yeah 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 and my mum even broke one of their rulers in the process so they, they'd be too happy about yeah. that now I think I've seen that bit already that's right yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. and that wasn't there was no camera trickery that <laughs> night that actually did happen yeah I was being myself there <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yeah it must have felt strange to be back in the old school again it did, it felt strange, um, you know, it's uh, it's always unusual when you step back in, and you know, you, you have so many good memories of the classroom, and you, you, have, you have the bad memories too, you know, but, uh, but it mostly good, you know, in fairness, I have to say, um, but uh, it was, but it was nice to go back in then as well, and, and then at least, but it was nice to come out of it then, at least, you know, you didn't have to go back again tomorrow, you know. And sit behind a desk. That's yes. it, yeah. <laughs> so, Derek, can you tell us about your new charity that you've got involved with? Yeah, well, um, around Christmas time now, we're going to be bringing out a new charity single. And um, there's around six charities involved. There's six charities, mm -hmm. isn't there, ma'am? That's right. And um, we, we have already shot the video for it, and we're hoping for a number one hit now this Christmas time. And um, some of the charities involved is Penny Dinners, um, East Cork Rapid Response, St. Vincent de Paul, Irish Cancer, Research. Irish Cancer Research, and there's a local girl in the town of Middleton as well with a rare disease. Her name is Amy Foley. And who else am I leaving out? No, I think that's, that's about it. That's about it, really. That's right. Yeah, well, but I think everybody's been touched by cancer, so it'll be very popular. Yeah, for yeah, a lot yes, of support. For for great, yeah. Cause. It's all for a great cause, and I, as I say, I suppose cancer research is top of the list there in St Vincent de Paul. So um, we're, you know, there's a big, big production going on there. Uh, there's hundreds of people from the local town of Middleton involved. There's a big launch taking place for this new single. Where it's called Hard Times, Come Again No More, and it'll be launched on the 29th of November in Middleton. Um, a lot of media attention on it at the moment and I really do want this one to work because it's the brainchild of a local man called Paddy Murray and uh, he's put an awful lot of thought and effort into it every cent generated will go 
to the charities and uh, so it's all about helping others and you know I suppose for us Crystal Swing this, this is important to us now this is all their idea you know it's probably a different type song to what we normally do but I really want this to work because I suppose if we want to look back in years to come we'd love to have said look we've helped somebody and uh, they're very very deserving charities especially in the times we're in at the moment but there's going to be a big night in Middleton that night and not only will it you know this this charity single help people within the local Cork area but it will also help people all around the country because obviously cancer research is yeah, something that's dear to everybody's Paul, heart you know yeah. we all know somebody and St Vincent de Paul for people that are less fortunate than others so um, and I, I, I hope that it would inspire other communities as well to maybe take on this project project because uh, so far we've had a fantastic response from you know sponsorship and everything from the, the community counts the count town councils and everything so very very important and this this is one project we really really want to work Martin yeah and I suppose anything that creates good karma you have a very strong faith yourself as well yeah I have a very strong faith a great belief in God and uh, I always believe in saying a prayer and I'm proud of that as well uh, Derek and Daryl also you know we as a family we'd often we'd always say a prayer before we go on stage and uh I really think that with God's help, he has helped us through so much, you know, and we probably wouldn't be sitting here tonight, but for him, you know, and um, Derville actually released a single there a little while back as well, How Great Thou Art, song which is well known to many people, but um, we got a fantastic reaction to that and also the downloads for that particular single, all the proceeds are going to Our Lady's Hospital for Sick Children in Crumlin in Dublin. So, um, yeah, faith is very, very important to me, Martin, it is, yes, yeah. And where can people download that on iTunes, is it? They can download it on iTunes, iTunes or go on to our website, crystalswing.com, all the details are up there. Yes. And they'll be supporting uh, Crumlin's Children's Crumlin, Hospital yeah, in yes, Dublin? Yes, uh, the research fund there for very sick children, yes. Well, uh, we're certainly talking to one of Ireland's most popular family bands in the country, Crystal Swing. Do you want to give us a few bars of uh, how great there are, Devlin? I'm sure I will, so I must, I'll do a little bit of it so for you. Okay. Then sings my soul, my Saviour, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Saviour, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Well done, well done. <laughs> Okay, well, right now Thank we're going you. to see you on stage, and here, here is Crystal Swing singing Happy Days. Will you please give a big round of applause all the way from County Cork? They're delighted to be here tonight at Mahan's. Would you give it up for Crystal Swing? Good evening, everybody. Saturday, what a day. 